Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, we're playing Elite Dangerous, and I just realized that uh, my last two videos didn't have any sound from my mic, and uh, it was too late to re-record the first one. So I'm just re-recording the second one. Okay, uh, so uh, while I check my settings on my second screen, I will leave you for a second on this screen and we gonna get started. All right, so uh, I'm using uh, Toby Eye Tracker, but uh, I decided to use it only in uh, SRV. So when I be flying my ship, uh, the eye tracker will be turned off. And uh, the music that you can hear in the background is the, is the music from. Uh, Miguel Johnson uh, I hope you like it because I do uh, and I also am using some of HCS voice packs uh, those are welcome thank you as you could hear uh, those are all systems prepared thank you Alright, let's turn that off. Okay. And as I said, uh, voice packs uh, that I'm using, those are uh, Orion, I think, Archer, Vega. Well, basically, all of them are in the description. And right now, I want to go. System map. System cartography. Oh, not system, but in galaxy map. Galaxy map. Opening map. Well, it's for some reason I've lost the route I plotted to here to my. Pelican Nebula. Close map. Closing now. Close map. Closing maps. All right. So let's end gate jump. End gate jump. Frame shift drive engaging. Thank you. My pleasure. So I've mapped all the moons in this system. Jumping to next system. Thanks. You're welcome. And I hope the next one will be the... Weapon. Scanning for anomalies. None detected. Start that I can scoop from. I Scanning. cannot. Class T star. Class T dwarfs are brown dwarfs with a surface temperature between 700 and 1300 Kelvin. They are sometimes known as methane dwarfs due to the prominence of methane in their composition. They are on the borderline between what might be considered to be a very large gas giant planet and a star. Hmm, alright. I didn't know that. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. That was the voice bug called the uh, open scanner. That's affirmative, Commander. Alright, so we've got a few 
got ten plants. Ice world. Ice worlds are composed mainly of water ice. Worlds like this will not have much heating in the past, forming in the cooler regions of a star system and have retained many volatiles as solids within their crust. Alright, thanks for info. Uh, okay. I'm looking at the composition of the That's why I'm uh, stuck permanent on this screen. Nitrogen magma. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't think I've seen nitrogen magma. All right. So we've got six more. There are a few. This one has got sulfur, carbon, and go up. Silver, carbon, phosphorus, iron. Okay. Uh, but I. Come on. Zoom. Zoom in, not out. But I think I. W water magma. Okay. But I think I will land on the planet that has had this phosphorus geysers thing hmm. I don't know what was that no volcanism okay oh uh, one more thing as you can hear English is my not my first language so if I made any mistakes or something I won't use it properly I do apologize for that I'm trying to but it doesn't always work but okay uh, exit map exiting map uh, exit scanner Exit scanner. Affirmative, Commander. But as you can see, with uh, uh, voice spikes, you don't have to. You don't have to be native English speaker to use them. At first, I thought you. You need to be, but uh, I did train my PC to understand my accent as well. MK jump. Jumping. And voice packs are pretty useful because uh, they they allow you to not not have to do so much things as you normally would have to do for example you no know, if you land a voice pack can automatically engage uh, land gathering you. information cartography has now been uploaded L star Class L dwarfs are dwarf stars that are cooler than M class stars. They are on the borderline of supporting fusion of hydrogen in their course, and the temperatures range from 1300 to 2400 Kelvin, cool enough to have alkaline metals and metal hydrides in their atmospheres. Okay. Uh, 
open scanner. Okay, Commander. And we'll put the open scanner. Open scanner. All right then. Okay, we got nine planets to discover. Uh, okay. Ice world. Ice worlds are composed mainly of water ice. Worlds like this will not have much heating in the past, forming in the cooler regions of a star system and have retained many volatiles as solids within their crust. Okay, thanks for the info. No volcanism. Okay. This one here. No volcanism as well. I did land on this plan on this moon with uh, magma something because it wasn't landable. Landable planets are you can see planets that you can land on on the system map and they are uh, they have this uh, blue blue circle around them I'll show you in a minute no volcanism okay so nine of nine cool uh, Close scanner. Acknowledge, Commander. System up. Hey, be careful where you're going. All right. So, uh, from all those moons, only only those uh, with this blue semicircle, half circle, are landable. For example, you can land on this one, this one, and this one, but you cannot land on those. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm going to jump. Frame shift drive engaging. So another useful. Thing that uh, voice bugs can do for you is, uh, for example, when you approach the station. Uh, Frame shift now engaged. Just a request for docking. And Temperatures are at an acceptable level. Stand by. Scanning now. Collating. Compiling Class white data. Dwarf. Cartography update Class complete. white dwarfs are the coolest of brown dwarfs. Surface temperatures are less than 700 Kelvin and are effectively very large gas giant planets with some stellar properties. And the voice bug basically, after hearing the command uh, to request for docking, uh, retracts uh, landing gear automatically uh, pu puts uh, all the power to the systems so shields can be uh, fully operational or recharge or whatever open scanner acknowledged if you need them to be, if for example, you know, for some unknown reason, you ice world. Ice worlds are composed mainly of water ice. Worlds like this will not have much heating in the past, forming in the cool.
cooler regions of a star system and have retained many volatiles as solids within their crust. Thank you. Uh, so for, You're welcome, Commander. So, for example, if you heat and the back of the station or, I don't know, some... Uh, some close by ship or well something uh, you will have the full shields to protect your ship uh. what's what was in here? Hmm. I don't know. No, Vulcan is not okay. No, Vulcan is not I want to land on a planet that has some volcanism. Alright. What's what's going on? I haven't moved my mouse. What was that? Now I'm moving my mouse but slowly and it's treating it like I have no idea what's that. Oh no. Close corner. Exis scanner. Acknowledged. No, what's that? System map. Opening map. Alright. Let's jump to map system. And get jump. And get jump. Jumping. I hope that the next star will be Scoot will star cause I'm low on fuel. Vectors. Thank you. You're welcome, Commander. And by the look of it, it's a uh, red warp again. Yep. Scanning for information. Class L star. Class L dwarfs are dwarf stars that are cooler than M class stars. They are on the borderline of supporting fusion of hydrogen in their cores, and their temperatures range from 1300 to 2400 Kelvin, cool enough to have alkaline metals and metal hydrides in their atmospheres. Open scanner. Okay. Oh, person down. Open scanner. That's affirmative. Uh, how many? Two bodies? So a rank is discovered. A uh, close scanner. Exit scanner. Right away, Commander. System map. Displaying map. Oh, okay. Exit map. Closing map. And get jump. Jumping. Uh, I really hope the next one will be scoopable star because I'm low on fuel.
Interstellar travel mode engaged. Temperatures are at an acceptable level. Warning. Scanning for information. Class L star. Class L dwarfs are dwarf stars that are cooler than M class stars. They are on the borderline of supporting fusion of hydrogen in their course, and the temperatures range from 1300 to 2400 Kelvin, cool enough to have alkaline metals and metal hydrides in their atmospheres. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, uh, galaxy map. Galaxy map. Displaying star map. Okay, next star. Which one is the next one? This one. Supposedly. Right? I don't know. Okay, so scoopable star. I want some scoopable star. Where are we? In here. I think. I think this one will be scoopable. Well, I hope. Wait. Oh, I thought I was here, but no, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. In that case. The next couple of stars should be somewhere closer. Like for instance... Not this one, but this one. This one looks scoopable. Right, and it's only five light years away. So let's go there. Close map. Leaving map. Uh, okay. Uh, MK jump. MK jump. Engaging. Warning. Now. Main fuel tank low. I know. That's why I want to go there. Jump to star class K. Can I scoop from K? Leaving system. Don't remember. I can. Maximum velocity engaged. I hope so. Confirming exit point telemetry. Stand by. Low fuel. Scanning now. Class K stars are yellow-orange main wow. sequence stars with okay. a long and generally stable okay. life. They range in mass from 0.6 to 0.9 solar masses and have a surface temperature reaching 5,000 Kelvin. Thank you. You're welcome, Commander. I can 
go back to my route. Uh, won't be nexus in the route because I haven't. I changed the course, so galaxy map. Stellar cartography. Just think of all those places, those far away, unreachable corners of the galaxy, the uncharted areas of space. Close map. Closing cartography. I'm going to jump. Charging frame shift drive. System map. System cartography. Okay. Lock targets. Course adjustment. What target? I don't know what you're talking about. Completing system scan for cartography. Stand by. Class T star. Class T dwarfs are brown dwarfs with a surface temperature between 700 and 1300 Kelvin. They are sometimes known as methane dwarfs due to the prominence of methane in their composition. They are on the borderline between what might be considered to be a very large gas giant planet and a star. Mm, okay. Yes, open scanner. Open scanner. Affirmative, Commander. Uh, all right, we've got nine bodies in here, and the first one moved. Ice world. Ice worlds are composed mainly of water ice. I think worlds like this will not have much that. heating in the past, Stop forming in the cool of carbon dioxide geysers. Okay, hmm. I don't know if I've seen them or not. We'll see. I'm going to. To land on this planet, or not. if it's landable at all. Uh, so so far only that one had the vulcans of some sort. Now those ones has one. Uh, Okay. Yeah, so only one had the bug. A close scanner. Exit scanner. Affirmative. System map. Hey, be careful where you're going. Okay, only two of them are landable. This one has no volcans, and this one has no volcans as well. Okay. All right. I'm get jump. And get jump. Engaging jump. And preparing to jump. Star class L brown war. So I think adjusting for jump. I would need to wear off my horse a little bit again to some fuel. I hope that further down the line there be some star that will enable me to you. Scanning. But Class L star. Class L dwarfs are dwarf stars that are cooler than M class stars. They are on the borderline of supporting fusion of hydrogen in their cores, and the temperatures range from 1300 to 2400 Kelvin, cool you enough to have alkaline already. metals and metal hydrides in their atmospheres. I 
think. Okay. Uh, open scanner. Aye, aye, Commander. Mm -hmm. I got eight bodies to discover. Mm. Ice world. Ice worlds are composed mainly of water ice. Stop talking. Worlds like the as well all right you guys three out of eight so far this will be nice body as well uh, is funny yep what are his I think that the all No okay. No, oh seven out of eight, okay. So that is not all. I thought that that would be all, but it's not. So, where's the, where's the eighth one? No. Here? Yeah. Yep. I've tipped them blocked. Exit scanner. Acknowledge, Commander. So, uh, system map. System map. Hey, be careful where you're going. Why? No, no I won't go there. I'll get jump. Engaging jump drive. Because I wanted to circle the star and the moon will be view. Okay. So anyway. Adjusting for jump. This recording is over half an hour now. So I will end here. And we meet you in the next episode. Completing system scan. Stand by. Dwarf again. Uh, Class L star. Class L dwarfs are dwarf talking. stars that are called. Uh, I will end here and meet you in the next episode. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, share, what else there is, uh, I don't know, like twice, I don't know what you need to do, but you know the best, so we do all the stuff and thank you. Much for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.